Hi everyone, it's Allison um, back in my studio. Uh, today I'm going to do a, a Scottish folk tune called In Praise of Isla, uh, which looks like Islay, written down I-S-L-A-Y. And this comes from a book, I'll show you that book, Traditional Tunes for Two Fiddlers. Uh, this is book one, and this was compiled by Christine Martin and is published by, well, I can't quite read the name, but it comes from Scotland's Music. So if you go to www.scotlandsmusic.com, um, you probably find that. It's all Scottish tunes, and it's arranged by um, what looks like some Scottish fiddlers, Christine Martin, Anne Hughes, Patty Shaw, and the Inverness Fiddler Society. And it's a really nice little book. Uh, there's lots of good tunes in there arranged for two fiddles. And they're very playable. And we're going to do In Praise of Isla, which is going to be, and it also has a Gaelic name that I won't attempt to say. Um, my students are going to play this at the Christmas party. And anybody else that wants to play it is welcome to, to join in. You might need to get your own copy of this, or else just use your sharp ears and figure it out by ear. Okay, so I'm going to play it for you. I really don't know what the proper speed for this is, because... Um, I'm in Western Canada, so I don't know, but this seems like good speed. I'm going to try this. Ready? quicker too except it's so short maybe it's supposed to be lyrical I'm gonna have to ask somebody who knows one day um, so I'm going to play it through really slowly just kind of talk through the fingerings and the string crossings um, and I'll discuss the technical issues later for those who haven't been playing violin very long yet there are a few challenges one is we have varying bow speeds there's the, the there's the bow that has the big slur in it, and that's got three beats in it. That's the really slow bow. Then there's the half note, which is a slow bow. And then there's the quarter note, which is a quick bow. Okay, so, and then we have these slurs, which some people won't have done yet. And then not only do we have slurs, but we have slurs that cross strings. So uh, a little bit of a challenge there. But I'm just gonna talk through without addressing all of the complicated bits, just get the fingers and strings, okay? And then if you had questions in mind, we'll address that after. Okay, so start, we're starting on the D string. If you haven't done D string before, bring your left arm a little further forward, okay? Because, and make sure that your wrist is out enough that actually your hand can pivot around the fingerboard, okay? Because if you're grabbing that fingerboard and you try to bring your arm forward, it'll do no good at all because your wrist will just bend and your hand will still not be in a good position. So you, you want the whole thing to kind of pivot. Okay, let's come forward. Um, your ar arm is going to be a little bit higher so that the bow is sitting on the A string because if it's lower you'll get one of the other strings. Okay, D string, second finger. <coughs> Excuse me. This is going to be a really slow bow. Really slow bow, okay? And we're going to change notes on really slow here, okay? So we go from ready and Second finger, first finger, zero, half, note, fast. Now this is a really slow bow. Second finger, really slow. Put your third over to A, really slow bow. Up bow. This is also a really slow bow, but we're going to go over to the e, e string on the third beat. So, really slow. Over to E, one. Now this is a half note, open E, and over to A string, bring your arm forward, put your second finger down, this is a quick bow, quick, really slow bow, three to one on the third beat, really slow, go to the first finger, and lift it off, really slow, bow. good, now over to the D string, bring your arm further back again, second finger, and this is a really slow bow, and you're going to go two, three, okay? So you're going to add the third finger. 
So second finger really slow. Add your third knuckle over to A. This is a half note followed by a quick. Now first finger. This is a really slow bow. It's going to be one and you'll add two at the end. Really slow. Add your second. And this third finger, half note. Half note. Now tuck the two and pull off the three and this is a quick bow. And then a really slow bow, one going to zero at the end. One, zero. Third finger. And this is also a really slow bow. And we're going to rock over to the D string two at the end of it. So third finger, up bow on A. Really slow. Now rock over to the D and tuck that second finger under your third, but over on the D string. I don't know if you can see what I mean, because the second finger tucks underneath the third usually, but instead of tucking on the same string, you can feel it nice and snug, but it's over one string. Over to D. Now place your one and, and pop off the second finger. Really slow. Slow. Really slow. Oh, I don't know. I'm thinking that there shouldn't be any issues. So straightforward, right? Um... Changing strings on a slur, it's not hard, but you might want to practice it a little bit. So that actually comes on a do 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 do. That's an apple. Um. Those slurs were on the same string. But now this one, we do two beats on A, and then on the third bur third beat, we roll over to the E string first finger. So you might want to practice one, two, stop your bow, rock over to E, find the string level, find where your arm needs to be in order for your bow to go straight on E. Try that again from the up bow on A string, because A string is more across and E string is more up and down. So. Okay, try that a couple of times. And now, now smooth it out and don't stop. I probably left that one a bit late. Okay, so you can kind of eyeball where it should be, but then you also feel the pulse in your mind, and the the rhythm is always master. Okay, and now let's do it with the right fingering. So it's zero over to first finger on E. Ready. First finger, zero. Now roll over. Bring your arm forward, put your two. That's a quick bow. And then this is the other one where you have to roll over. So, two thirds of the way down, just roll over. And two. Okay, so practice doing it without stopping. play it through once quite slowly. Ready and If you use a lot of bow when you have three beats in it, and less bow when there's only two, and when you have the one, you're you're gonna have to just go quickly because you're gonna have to catch up. You know, uh, as much bow as you took in the half note, you're gonna have to catch that back up in the quarter. So all the quarter notes will be quick bows. All right, and that should get you through it. So have fun with it, and uh, see you at the party for those of you who are coming. Okay, bye.